trying to stay warm in the cold is a reality Aaron Sharphead knows all too well. Some of us do use open flame to heat, heat our houses. Because at the end of the day, these are our houses. These encampments is, is our houses. Over the weekend, a 54-year-old man and a woman in her 20s died after two separate tent fires. A third person was taken to hospital with burns after another fire Monday. Sharphead worries he could be next. Every day, every time I fall asleep, it's the last thing on my mind. You guys need any supplies, water, granola bars? For those working with homeless people, the deaths are not surprising. You try to tell them to keep their fires outside, but when it comes down to, you know, whether they're going to freeze to death at night or just be frozen overnight, um, they're going to do what's going to, it's easiest for them to do in the moment. All around, signs of people using whatever they can to stay warm. Advocates warn the number of deaths could grow. We're in a critical situation right now and we will see more loss of life. There's no doubt about it if we continue on the path that we're on. Police say they're worried for those living on the streets. The frustration piece for the Edmonton Police Service is the fact that we really want people to be safe and we want people to engage in the resources that are provided. Our number one goal is to help save lives. Local and provincial officials say help is coming. More shelter capacity is coming on board. There's other supports available, but this is a crisis that uh, is beyond the capacity of the city to, go, uh, to, uh, to manage. Our long-term plan is to continue to build more housing. That's why we're investing $9 billion to create affordable housing. Alberta has been experiencing mild weather this fall. But winter is coming and temperatures will plummet. And there's anxiety that will make a bad situation even worse. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.